Welcome back. We are doing the recording of 8th of January's God You Blessing. How to be a carefree emperor? Godfather gives us a method over here and he tells us that since you are in connection with me, I've already created a line of fortune for you and that line of fortune makes you carefree. So we have two choices, whether we have worldly worries or we are completely carefree. That will be decided upon how we take this world and how much of divine spiritual knowledge we use on a daily basis to be detached from this world of sorrow. So let's see and let's hear it in God's own words. God says, may you become a carefree emperor and free from all worries by seeing the elevated line of fortune on your forehead. This is not a physical line, it's a line of fortune means what you keep on thinking. You see, when you see water flowing on top of a stone, that water can create grooves into the stone because it's falling continuously. Same way, you can keep on thinking one thought again and again, again and again, again and again, and you can create your own line of fortune, not a physical line, but a line of fortune, which will create your habits and those habits will create your fortune. So God here says, the sovereignty of being carefree is the highest sovereignty of all. If someone puts on a crown and sits on a throne, somebody makes you sit on a throne, you become a king or you become a queen, but continues to worry, and that's what is happening today in this world, whether you become a minister, prime minister, president or anything, either even a chairman of some institution or a or any government institution, you are always poked around by people for not doing the right thing, for not doing it enough, for not being able to give them good services because nobody in this Kaldyug or Iron Age is satisfied. They want more and more and more. They are looking for outwardly happiness and you can never satisfy that. I can guarantee you that. So God then says, those chairs or those thrones are the thrones of worry or they are like thorny thrones. You are sitting on them but you are sitting on thorns. God then says, then is that being seated on a throne or is that worry? Obviously, this is worry. God, the bestower of fortune, has drawn the line of your elevated fortune on your foreheads, provided we follow Supreme Creator's guidance on a daily basis, starting from 4 o'clock in the morning, how to think, what to think, how to program our day, how to eat, what to eat, how to live, how to speak, how to sit, stand, everything in a pure divine way so that we become divine beings and we become free from sorrow. Or let's say in Hindi it said, Be Fikr Bacha. Somebody who doesn't have any worries. So, you become a carefree emperor or a worryless emperor. God then says, has drawn the line of your elevated fortune on your foreheads and so you have become carefree emperors. So, always continue to see your elevated line of fortune on your forehead. That whose child am I? Whose creation am I? What am I supposed to follow? What am I supposed to be detached from in this old world? What am I supposed to receive from this world? And what am I going to receive from the Supreme Creator? If you remember this fortune as compared to this worldly fortune, this is more precious. I don't know about you, but this is more precious for me. This worldly fortune is there for some time. A house, money, name, fame, position, people respecting me for my looks, post, position, money, property or wealth is very temporary. Till the time you have it, they praise you. But this is something which you get permanently from the Supreme Creator. Which side do you want to go? I want to go this side. What is your choice? You decide. God then says, so always continue to see your elevated line of fortune on your forehead. Wah, my elevated godly fortune. Maintain this spiritual intoxication and all worries will finish. That means you are always remembering what have I received from God. Spiritual knowledge, divinity, wisdom is more precious to me than this worldly things. Isn't that true? Haven't you tasted that? Haven't you felt that? If you have not yet, then do go ahead, do listen to Brahma Kumari's Godly Spiritual University's Godly Guidance. And there you learn the difference and you can understand what is this spiritual love and happiness and what is this worldly love and happiness. You can actually feel the difference. Right now you're in this state, so it might be difficult for you to actually feel or even think about this state. But it is a transition time and it takes just 7 hours. Yes, it just takes 7 hours. But we ask you to take out 1 hour a day. It's not that continuously 7 hours you're spending your time. 1 hour a day for 7 days to understand this basic knowledge. And then rest is your own journey. 
ऑफ आर यूनिटी विद दिस ओम शांति